हेलो गाइज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट है दिस इज अमृत कॉ योर इंग्लिश मेंटर एंड टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू स्टे फोकस इन स्टडीज बिकॉज दिस इज द मोस्ट वॉन्टेड टॉपिक मोस्ट वॉन्टेड क्वेश्चन बाई माई सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दैट मैम वी आर डूइंग दिस वी आर डूइंग दैट बट एट द एंड वी आर नॉट गेटिंग सेलेक्शन एट द एंड मैम और इन द मिडल ऑफ इट सम और द अदर वेयर मैम द फोकस डेवियट्स please tell us what to do please guide us what to do so how to stay focused in studies we will be discussing a few tips here which will i am sure be helping you all a lot my dear students so guys when we talk about focus here basically something we have to understand what is our passion what interests us so what in what direction our interest is going so first thing i would rather say here is passion figure out your passion first means try to love what you do do not just do for the sake of doing if in case if in case you are not aware about the exam syllabus about the exam pattern about the previous year questions do you even think that you are having passion for that thing do you even believe you are having passion for that thing so do what you love here your passion is directly related to what you love what you like try to do that what you love and what you like this is something which is very important here so here i would rather say i would rather say that your passion and concentration they both they are directly proportional this is a symbol of proportional here they are directly proportional to each other what you are doing like what you love what you like you are doing versus your your concentration that how you are concent how will you concentrate of course if you have passion for the thing you will concentrate and if you do not have passion for something probably you won't be able to concentrate to that particular thing you won't be able to give your 100% to to that particular thing here where is the passion matters clear your concentration matters next i would rather say is try to avoid some sort of distractions if in case your girlfriends your boyfriends your phone your social media your instagram telegram whatsapp facebook if these are your distractions try to avoid your distractions first of all first of all figure out what distracts you when you are sitting to study sometimes what happens is you are studying but your mind is somewhere else your body is there with the book you are physically present with the books with the study material but your mind is running somewhere your mind is not focused means your concentration you are lacking here in concentration and you are distracted concentration versus distraction concentration versus distraction again so basically when you are short of something you do not have a plan aapke paas koi bhi plan jo hai wo available nahi hai plan hai hi nahi you are clueless you are thoughtless you have no agenda you have no plan you have no road map basically ek guidance nahi hai ek road map jo hai na road map there is no road map wo missing hai life mein means you don't know what is syllabus what is pattern what is pyqs you are just filling the exam because people are saying you teachers are convincing you your parents are after your life to get a job and get settled that is why you are doing that so please first of all figure out what do you love what do you like because when you have passion you are focused when you are focused you have good concentration you have zero distractions and of course when you are meditating also if you try to do some meditation for good One minute, two minute. They, that see, meditation increases gradually. You cannot say, "I oh, ma'am, I will start meditation from tomorrow itself after the session, and I will meditate for good around one uh, one hour." No, not possible. As a beginner, it will take you good five minutes, probably good a um, good minute to close your eyes to to understand what is happening, what is going. Inhale, exhale, calm your mind. अपने आत्मा को मन को दिल को शांत करो. understand so when we talk about studies here this is very important how you shall be focused in studies how you shall be focused means you should have a right road map 
right a right road map a right guideline shall be there you should have the exact pattern at the back of your mind that how you can figure up things how you can go by it if you are focusing on some particular one exam if you are focusing on one paper or you are focusing on your banking exams how well are you managing your concentration how well are you focused how much are you distracted three things are there the cfd concentration focus and distractions so your concentration is directly proportional to your passion if you are passionate enough i am sure you are 100% having concentration in that agar aapke andar wo passion hai you are doing what you like you are doing what you love that is called passion here so please to have all of this you need to have you need to have a right set of books with you a right set of books which will help you to clear your concept rules and logics this is something which is very important a right set of teacher material so you you should have books you should have material you should have right set of teachers with you to focus again the session was very short concise and crisp i told you what are required what are the things which are required and what are the things which are not required going back here uh, so when we discuss about something which is which is very important here is since today we have a good bonanza offer for you a sale is going on on the books here in you can just type bank supreme clear you enter and what will you put in here when you type this you have so many book sets here clicking on to the first link at least you have a good set of material a right set of material how will you figure out you have to study or not how will you figure out you will clear the exam or not if in case the logics are not clear if the rules are not clear if the things are not clear at the back of your mind yeah so again meditation feromi bina some days you are not consistent happens with many people many people go around this thing many people become the shikar becomes you know a particular shikar of this thing so you have to calm your mind calm your mind ease your mind on by now when you go you can type y 536 s and avail this discount because for 200 you getting one book and trust me you are also understanding that ma'am is ek book ke andar what exactly is there if you click on to the content here or to the uh, preface of this you will understand how it is important this is giving you all this concept exercise and solutions many students feel depressed they are not consistent they feel very low and happens many a days not just one two days many a days because this journey is a tough journey wherein you are standing you lose faith you lose hope you lose courage try to build up that try to build up that by focusing yourself your heart your mind your body heart heart will go deviate brain brave brain will go deviate but you have to stay focused this is something which is very important here going back to this part again we have a good test series to judge your skills now whatever you have been what however time you have been focused how how much time you have given or denoted to something how much have you learned how much have you grabbed how much are you aware or how much have you done for your prelims for your mains and for your section test for your full length test for your video solutions kitna aapne kya kiya hai that will be judged from this particular test series which is called that the analysis is very very important with this y536 s you can again see for 12 months for one year something which is very important is the test series here 1200 tests are available with this just one coupon with 1200 papers you can see if you are preparing for the bank examinations i'll tell you one thing very important here these are the number of tests which are included means means some or the other way you are able to judge this is sbi this is ibps 
this is rrb this is rbi assistant and this is your lic now here you can you all are smart kids you all can understand you all can do the analysis that how things are helping you out you can do the analysis where you are lacking in your prelims where you are lacking in mains and which all areas are weaker probably if in uh, we talk about your para jumbles is weak or you talk about your phrasal replacement is weak your reading comprehension is weak your errors are weak how will you figure out what is weak what is strong through this analysis you will be figuring out what is weak <coughs> so please it's a request to all of you just be very focused just be very calm and meditate try to avoid distractions and please do what you like don't run behind what people are saying thank you so much this is amrit kaur your english mentor if you have any sort of doubts questions and queries you can drop in your comments i would like to i would love to answer all the questions thank you and see you all guys